Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Dev Madden, Market Analyst. And today's date is Wednesday, the 6th of December, and the time has just gone 12 p.m. UK time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the FTSE 100, or as we call it here on the CMC Markets Trading Platform, the UK 100. Now, taking a look at the price action over the last number of months, after creating an all-time high in early June of this year, the FTSE 100 had a, recent, had a fairly uh, decent sell-off over the summer period, only to push higher in late December, and uh, that, that rally ran out in the early part of November. But the, the high of November failed to actually take out the high uh, of the, of the, of the all-time high that was created in early June. And since, since the, that high that, that was created in November, the market has been moving in a very clear and, and obvious downward trend. You can notice the, the lower low followed by the lower high and the lower low yet again. And seeing as we didn't take out in November, in November seeing as we didn't take out the June high, uh, we failed to create a higher high, could we be looking at a new lower low in the next number of weeks? And as you can see here, while the, the market was uh, pushing lower since early November, uh, turning our attention to the MACD histogram, the MACD indicator, we can see that the momentum is clearly on the negative side. So the selling pressure has been clearly with the, with the, with the, with the bears, with the sellers. So the market's been moving lower, and that's been confirmed by the steady increase in negative momentum in the last few trading sessions. And even actually last Friday, on Friday the 1st of December, the, the FTSE 100 fell to its lowest levels uh, in over two months. Now, this morning, it didn't quite get as low as Friday's low, but it wasn't too far off of it. And while we remain south of the 200-day moving average, which comes into play at 7,400, it's likely the outlook for the FTSE 100 is going to remain negative. So if you do push lower again on the FTSE 100, the next level of temporary potential support might be uh, the fr Friday's low on, on the 1st of December of 7,278. And should we take out that level, the next area to potentially keep an eye out for may be the September low of 7,195. And if you do happen to break low south of 7,195, we could be looking back as low as the April low of 7,088. But should we manage to push higher and move and get above the 200-day moving average hurdle at 7,400, the next level to potentially watch out for, for resistance might be the late November high of 7,472, this price action here. And if you go beyond that, that could be an indication that the, the, the negative trend that we've seen since the beginning of November might be coming to an end. And if you have a decisive break north of 7,472, that could be an indication that we're heading back up to November high and approaching back up towards the 7,600 region. Well, that's all for me this week. Please tune in next week. Thank you very much.